Alright, so let's see how to use Zapier for beginners. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, guys, I'm going to be showing you what exactly is Zapier and how we can take advantage of this amazing tool for our company, for our own projects, and much more. So, first of all, guys, as you can see, I'm in Zapier.com. You don't have to be worrying about if you don't know anything about the automation, but this one is going to be helping us to track, to automate, and do simple steps it just one click let me explain to you how does this work so for example let's say i'm into the marketing field so here into the marketing field let's say that for example i have created a campaign and here into that campaign i have let's say for example received a let's say i've made 250 clicks into my ad so when that happens let's say that when i get a new lead I let my team know about it into Slack and I can add them into an email list. So this one is going to be added automatically from Zapier and I didn't have to do absolutely anything because I've just programmed the Zapier to do that for me. And I can do so much more than that. So how can we get started? What we want to do is to get into sign up into this huge orange section. So in order to get started, we need to help them customize our experience to, let's say, get a little bit of help. So here we want to look out for our role. For example, I'm looking for project management. I'm going to scroll a little bit up and look for, let's say, up to 20 employees. Approx. I'm going to hit into continue and of course going to be appearing all the actual applications. So it's going to be helping us to personalize a little bit more our experience. So what you want to do is to integrate all of the options that you have used already from your actual company. For example, Google Sheets, Gmail, MailChimp, Twitter, Google Drive, HubSpot, and much more. As you can see, there are different options says premium. So here, actually, you don't want to focus in the, you don't have to worry about that. This is just a demonstration. If you do love to use this kind of uh, tools, later you can just uh, upgrade into a more advanced tools. But here, I just want to focus into the main ones, for example, this ones. And after that, I want to hit into uh, continue, finish my setup. And just like that, the Zapier is going to be sending me into the dashboard of my very first account. Now, as you can see, they are being recommended me to add applications to create personalized workflows. And if I scroll just a little bit down here, as you can see, I have a few suggestions so I can start my very first SAP. For example, saved new Gmail attachment to Google Drive. Let's say that I received a Gmail with some attachment. So when I receive that, this automatically is going to be sent it into my Google Drive. So if you want to try it out, let's get into try it. Really, really simple tutorial. So we're going to get into try it. And then what I do want to do, of course, is that I need to uh, import my Google account, my Gmail account in order to make this automation tool. So as you can see, we do have one trigger and two different actions. For example, we have a new attachment and email. When this happens, here is the action. Only continue if here is the attachment, here it says exist. Here I have the action number three, upload the file into Google Drive. So as you can see, we do have this caution uh, status. So what we want to do is to cause connect an account in order to continue. So I'm going to scroll a little bit up, for example, here, and where it says tube and uh, add an event, you want to choose Gmail, event, new attachment, hit into continue, and here you want to connect a Gmail. So you're going to hit into sign in, and it's going to be popping up the Zapier section where I need to let them uh, sign into my Google account. After that, you want to go into finish require fields. And here is the action number two. So you filled all this information, so on and on. And once you have successfully done that, you can try that after you have cre successfully created that. I'm going to go back because I want to save this just as a draft. I want to show you something more interesting. So let's focus back into the dashboard. Here into the dashboard, we do have different fields. For example, uh, if you want to make a SAP really quick, here we can connect an application and we can search for another application. Let's say, for example, that I want to look out for connect the Notion application and I want to connect that into my Google Sheets. So we go into Google Sheets and I have when this happens, let's say new database item, then do this. Select an action, let's say copy everything into worksheet or create multiple spreadsheet rows or create some spreadsheets. You can do so much more than that and you don't have to do this manually. This is the reason why we use Zapier. If I scroll just a little bit down from the dashboard, we can see more recommended tabs. For example, just integrate from Google Calendar into Google Sheets uh, and so on and on. We can even look out for more templates if you wanted to. 
if you want to dive more a little bit more about the automation works and all that uh, you can see the customer stories you can hire an expert you can see the loading center and the ask the community this is just to help you improve your work inside Zapier so this is how we can get started into the dashboard now let's talk about the saps the saps is the most important part of Zapier. so here you're going to be seeing all the saps that you have created so far and if you have the one that says running and you have enabled this one your sap is going to be enabled once and over and over again so if i want to create a new sap i can hit into this huge orange section that says create sap or I can go into saps and I can create my very first sap. So I can see that there's a lot of triggers and I can see there's a lot of applications and I can choose the action and much more. So if you want to start totally from scratch, that's totally fine. But I can strongly suggest to you that you may want to look for a template that has been already been created. Uh, something that probably uh, somebody else has been added automatically for you. So go into your dashboard once again, go into see more templates and here you should be looking into the templates to um, until you find the actual that you're looking for so now it's time to talk about transfers now speaking about the transfers I'm gonna click into transfers here what I can do is to make different transfers between one application into another one this is really really useful if you want to connect some data or you want to move your data once again from let's say for example your Google Drive into Notion so what you want to do if you want to check it out how this one works what I want to do is to choose the option that says create a new transfer and what's going to be happening here is that we need to let's say move data one time or you want to move your data on a fixed schedule this is totally depending if you are let's say for example working into some Google Sheets and you want to transfer that into Monday or into ClickUp or into some projects management if you are working for more than just one people one person into that company in my case I just want to focus on to run once and once I have successfully created that I want to look how for create a new transfer and here I have my source and I have the destination so once again choose the source application let's say for example that I want to look out for some Google Sheets and I want to shout for source data so I want to look out for a spreadsheet row and the destination application is where it's going to be published my new information for example Notion for example Evernote OneNote and much more in my case I want to just look out for Notion and I want to say update the database item or create a new database item I'm going to hit into next I need to connect once again my account from both applications and Zapier is going to do the work automatically really really simple and I must say to you guys that there are just a free application that only works for a premium account so if you want to check it out the cost and the price of everything you want to go into upgrade your actual account and you want to see the option that best fits for you now since we are using the 14 days trial of Zapier we can be using uh, the paid features totally for free but this is used for only 14 days so what you want to do is to either get used to them and then pay later or just focus into the free options that we do have into Zapier so with that being said guys this is how we can get started into Zapier hopefully this was a very very useful video for you just in case you have any question any trouble you can leave it down below in the comment section once again don't forget to like and subscribe hopefully guys uh, you can be starting working here into Zapier this is really a lifesaver you have more than one account or you have a company working with really really a lot of tools so thank you so much for watching the video guys once again and I'll see you on the next video